Hey you guys, welcome once again to the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge and as always we're going to be taking a classic arcade game and we're going to see how long we can last off one coin or one credit if you will. And today that game is Metal Slug 4. Now I have a lot of experience with Metal Slug 1 and 2. They were classic uh, run and gun shooters in the 90s. I have never ever played number 4 before. Uh, so we're going to be doing it for the first time today. It should be a lot of fun. So we're going to insert that coin and we're going to see how long we can last and we might pick this game apart a little bit. So uh... Here we go, just gives you a list of controls, we'll just figure them out as we go along. You get to pick from a range of characters. Uh, we'll just pick Marco here, pretty much stock standard, we're going to stick with the classics. And uh, already seeing this game load up, it definitely feels like one of the original Metal Slug games. Uh, slight uh, improvement in resolution I think, graphically. Uh, I don't know, it's just something about this background of the neighborhood that we're shooting in. I just uh, like straight away off the get-go. So uh, I do appreciate the art design very much off first impressions. Uh, we've picked this to play this game in a, the blood mode today. So it's probably going to be a little bit more gory uh, than what some of you guys expect from uh, when you've been playing Metal Slug games, depending on the censorship in your area. But I'm a sicko. When I shoot things, I like to see blood. So here we go. We're using the blood option today. And uh, it doesn't really feel any different apart from a slight uh, graphical upgrade this game. Uh, you pretty much just have your controls for shooting, your controls for jumping, and you also have the button to uh, throw grenades. And uh, they always replenish, I think, uh, every time you lose a life. So the game is quite forgiving as far as stocking back up on uh, grenades is concerned. And uh, if it's anything like the other Metal Slug games, you just run and gun to the end of the level and you'll have this intense boss fight. Uh, which has always been uh, incredibly fun in all the other Metal Slug games that I've played. So we'll just see if it's more of the same uh, with this one. One thing that was a little bit annoying about some of the Metal Slug games is they uh, featured a little bit of slowdown, especially if there's a lot of enemies on uh, screen. Uh, so far so good with this edition. It'll just be good to see if overall as we get further in, uh, the game has improved its frame rate when things get hectic. And... Uh, Man, this is a cool level. I lo it's something I always love about riding in vehicles. And uh, this is really cool. We've got a, a little sidekick here as we're shooting from the passenger side. And uh, you all know my feelings on scrolling levels too, where things move and sort of are a bit interactive and as, as far as their look goes. And uh, yeah, this is just the type of game design I'm really, really into. And uh, I hope I can explain that correctly. I'm not the most articulate person in the world all the time. Um, but graphically, as, as, as compared to other Metal Slug games, this definitely gets uh, my thumbs up. It might only be a subtle improvement, but it definitely feels like an improvement nevertheless. Uh, sound is still pretty cool, uh, as far as you'd expect from a Metal Slug game. I really enjoy the soundtrack. The sound effects are just awesome in this too. Uh, not really any different in sound effects compared to the other ones, but they don't need to be. And... Uh, the game is really, really hard, uh, but at the same time, it's not incredibly unforgiving at the uh, beginning, which I think is fair. I mean, it gives you a chance to get your eye in in the early going before they force a whole bunch of coins out of you. Uh, so at least if you're only a, a casual gamer with a couple dollars, it looks like you're going to get a little bit of playtime out of this experience too. Uh, so it also uh, gets a thumb up from me as far as value goes. And uh, so yeah, I have nothing uh, but nice things to say about Metal Slug 4 so far. I'm just actually really interesting, uh, interested rather to see what this uh, first boss battle looks like. And uh, come to think of it, we've been playing for a, a good few minutes now and these levels actually do seem to be fairly long. I have a feeling we've come up to something now. We're running across a bridge, overlooking the city. Again, I love the graphic style in this. And gosh, we're shooting this big blimp or something already. Oh, let's see what we have to do here. Oh crap, I'm shooting some kind of bombs out at us. Oh crap! Okay. It's a bit uh, hectic already. We might just try and end this as quick as we possible. Oh jeez. I'll just stand here and chill for a minute. Oh, at least we can shoot those things. They kind of... It's a little bit deceptive actually. Usually when you see those steel metal balls like that, you assume that they're uh, indestructible. So lucky we figured that out by accident. And, oh damn it, we're on our last life already. Oh damn it, how am I supposed to get to that thing? Do I have to throw grenades on it? There we go. I'm glad we finally figured that out. Is that the end of the level yet? 
This is a pretty intense boss. There's sort of a lot of uh, different things you need to do, actually. So that wasn't even its final form. There we go. Hopefully we can get past this. I'd love to see another level. And we got this other section yet. It, geez, there's a lot happening here, isn't there? Damn it! We're not even going to make it to another level. Well, despite that, guys, this is Metal Slug 4, and it's actually a pretty fun game. And I can tell if I play it much longer, I'm going to get addicted to it. Uh, so if you're a fan of Contra or all the other Metal Slug games, definitely give this one a try, guys. And as always, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us, support us on Patreon, and we'll see you next time.